Hi everybody. Hello there. Jerry. And Linda. We're the village's newcomers and we try to bring you guys activities that uh, we think kind of show what the villages is all about. And today we're going to bring you an activity that uh, is actually a club, quite a few members, and there are lots of clubs here with activities like... Uh, remote control cars and boats and... Yeah, there's a kite flying club, there's RC airplanes. Now, RC, I used to have an RC airplane. I was so bad at that. I wanted to be good at it. I just wasn't. I love them, though. I love to watch them and, and be out there and do it. But today we're going to show you some RC yachts. And these are sailboats, and it's so cool. They're beautiful. And some of them are as big as me. Watch along with us and enjoy. Driving along today, I glanced to my left and saw a beautiful sight. A lovely pond full of sailboats. So I decided to drive in and see what it was all about. Sure are a lot of pretty boats out there. It's a beautiful day. It's about 90 degrees. It's rather warm here in the villages. May 22nd. All these graceful boats. I like the red one. I found out that uh, they're all part of the RC model yachting group in the villages. It's called the Villages Model Yacht Squadron. Wonder what happens when they hit each other. They've been having these get togethers for over 15 years. The Villages allows the members to sail their boats here at the pond. It's in the village of Ashland. In fact, this pond is called Ashland Pond. So peaceful here. These boats are remote controlled. There is no motor. The power is supplied by the wind. But the skill is in the maneuvering of the boats, in this case, around these buoys that you see. Now these buoys remain in the water here because this pond is in use seven days a week by club members. Do they have a beginner area? There are at least four different types of boats. These are the largest that you're seeing today. I was wondering about the size. They have to be a certain size. All the boats are the same, as you can tell. Oh. Yeah. Sort of like stock car racing. Uh, the boats have certain parameters that they must meet. So the skill is awarded to the person that's maneuvering the boat. Beautiful day. Look at that sky, too. This is the EC 12 class. Look at that guy. Caught him a little fish, and off he goes. <laughs> he was daring, wasn't he? There's wildlife in every pond in the villages. I'm sure there's a gator or two in here with these boats. Fish lunch. This particular club, the EC12 class, holds races every Thursday and on Saturdays from 10 to 12, if you're ever in the area. Oh, I want to do that. And while here, if you could hear the actual audio, you'd hear a person on a microphone that's calling out uh, the race, sort of like the uh, Kentucky Derby. The skill here is in making your boat do what you want it to do because the wind may be blowing east to west, but you want your boat to travel west to east, and that's where the skill comes in. 
One of the boaters in this group is a national champion. National, that's interesting. What do these boats cost, you might wonder? Well, over $3,000 for a new one set up to race. What? You may be able to find a used one for twelve to $1,500, but it's an expensive hobby. Now these guys are serious. Are there some girls out here? Certainly graceful as they slide through the water. There's a good comparison of how large these boats are. You can see it's much, the mast is much taller than that fellow. Wow. People on the bank follow their boat. They walk along and uh, control it with the electronic signal from their controller. Did they ever get away from them to get to the other side? Say, hey, come back here. Oh, I lost a boat. All in all, it's a wonderful way to spend an afternoon. If you're ever around Ashland Pond around 10 o'clock in the morning, stop by and take a look. You can bring a lawn chair or a picnic lunch if you like. These guys are all friendly and happy to share what they know. I think I'd want a different color sail so I can find my boat. There are beginner boats available, like I said, these are quite expensive, but you can find much cheaper ones to kind of learn the hobby and go from there. I asked about the wind today and was told this is a moderately windy day. I'd imagine on a day with no wind, they'd have trouble sailing these boats. Hope you all enjoyed that. Yeah, they're pretty. It was a windy day. These guys were really enjoying themselves. Yeah, we had a lot of fun together. Just uh, one more activity you can enjoy here in the villages. Until next time. See you when you get here.